hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you how i make how to cook beans so these are the ingredients i will be using here i have my beans in here i have some dry fish and i have some crayfish some dry crayfish they usually call it any time i don't know the name other name just i know it as any time so i have some crayfish i have one onions i have two three sc scotch bonnet pepper in here i have a um, pumpkin leaf so and i have some fish Here is the pot I will be using. I already have some hot water inside. I just parboil the beans because I don't like. I like to parboil my beans to get rid of this water. I will just go ahead and wash it. Then allow the water to boil. Add some salt. Then I will add the beans and um, and some onions. So I'm going to add the beans right now. The water is boiled. I'll just add the beans, then add some salt. And the onions I showed earlier. So the ingredients I showed earlier. This here is crayfish, the three and a half scotch bonnet pepper, the head of the any tans. I have an, another half onions, then I soak all the dry fish in here. I have uh, the pork and leaf it has been it has already been washed. So the head of the end, I'm just going to blend it together with the onions and pepper. These are the fish I will be using. Then in there, I have the oil that I will use to fry the fish. Inside this blender, I have the water I used to whisk the blender after blending the pepper. I've already washed the fish. In here, I have the blended pepper. I have another half onions. I will add it later. And I have one seasoning cube, just one. I will add it to the beans. I have red palm oil. So, this is how the beans is looking now. After 10 minutes or so, it should look like this. It's not done yet, but it's almost done. So right now, I will add the seasoning cubes. And the crayfish. the dry fish it has already been washed then the pepper I just turned in the water I used to waste 
the blender then I will add the pepper turn together I will turn it now I will mix everything together After mixing, this is how it should look. Then I will just cover it to boil for about 5 minutes. So I will just go ahead and fry the fish. After five minutes, I'm going to add red oil. I add two, two spoons, just two spoons. It was enough. I just add the onions the half onions I showed earlier you know I already had the full one before and used two onions I I cut the other one half I blend one then I it was remaining this I just add it to it so after five minutes again I just opened it and check it this is how it look like wow it's looking so yummy already So now I'm just going to add the pumpkin leaf because it's already done. It just to for the water to dry up a little bit. So I just add the pumpkin leaf now. Turn it and leave it for extra five minutes, and it's ready. Here are the fish and don't fry them. This is how it looks like. So now it's okay now. I can take it off. With this you can eat with bread, yam, gari, akamo anything of your choice you can just take and eat with it but for me i don't know what i'm going to eat this with i'm still picking about it and i will let you guys know later so it's almost cold i'm just going to dish it according to how I will keep it in my freezer or in my fridge.
I'm just going to have a taste of it now. You can see how good it is. It looks so good and it's delicious. Wow. If you haven't cooked your beans this week before, you need to try this. It's very delicious. So, in here, I've already dished them. This center one, this one. I will keep this in my freezer while I keep this in my fridge. Then I will keep, I will give this to a friend of mine. So guys, that's all. See you guys in my next video. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell below. So that each time I upload a new video, you will be notified. See you guys in my next video. Bye.